Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the derivation of effective dielectric constant in the microstrip transmission line. So in microstrip transmission lines, in microstrip transmission line, part of the energy, part of the energy Energy means whatever the signal that is being traveled, electromagnetic field, electromagnetic energy, part of the electric energy, you can say it is electric energy, part of the electric energy is stored, is stored in this conductor configuration in the conductor configuration. which is in the air and sum is in the dielectric and sum energy is in the form of dielectric material dielectric okay so the effective dielectric condition for the waves on the transmission line will lie somewhere between the effective effective dielectric constant value lies somewhere between that of the air and that of the dielectric. See, in microwave tra microstrip transmission lines, the energy which is the electromagnetic energy which is traveled inside the microstrip line, the electric energy, part of the electric energy is stored in the form of in the conductor because conducting material is there okay copper strip line is there that is nothing but a conductor and bottom is also a conducting is there conducting layer is there so part of the energy can be stored in among these conductors or uh, remaining part of the energy is going into the form of dielectric material so the dielectric material which is because if you take the structure of a micro strip line suppose take this micro strip line structure in the bottom we have a conductor and again here we have a conductor hope you remember the previous class uh, video and how this uh, micro strip line generally has a structure this is the structure okay this is the conducting layer with a thickness t and here we have a conducting layer here also okay so this is conductor and this is a conducting layer so part of the energy electric energy is stored in this conductor and the remaining part of the energy is stored in this dielectric material this is the dielectric material then what could be the value of this dielectric material effective dielectric material that effective dielectric material may be in between the free space dielectric material or pure dielectric material okay so typically the effective dielectric constant will be typically the effective effective dielectric constant will be 50 to 85 percent of substrate dielectric constant substrate dielectric constant so it is having 50 to 85 percent in between these two 50 to 85 percent of the substrate dielectric constant depending on the two geometry of the micro strip here and here in this way and in this way okay 
So the effective dielectric constant, let us uh, see the derivation. Effective dielectric constant E is uh, epsilon effective. Effective dielectric constant can be calculated as it can be calculated. It can be calculated as see we are not calculating we are directly taking the values we cannot uh, calculate the effective dielectric constant from the origin okay uh, we can directly take the notations like uh, when width to height when width to height of this micro strip transmission line is less than 1 is less than 1. What do you mean by width and what do you mean by length here? Suppose take this uh, microwave, micro strip transmission line. This micro strip transmission line is having like your rectangular wave gate. The shape is similar to rectangular wave gate, but it is not rectangular wave gate. Uh, it is having shape like this. Here is the place where you are having the strip conducting strip which is on the which is mounted on the top now it is having a width from here to here it specifies width and here to here let us consider this is the conducting layer one more conducting layer at the bottom this is all conducting layer from here to this dielectric material wherever we are having the dielectric material this is the dielectric material this from here to here this is the height so width of the conducting layer and height of the dielectric layer so it is a width to height width to height is less than 1 the effective dielectric constant epsilon e effective is equal to is equal to epsilon r plus 1 divided by 2 epsilon r is nothing but relate to permittivity okay epsilon r is nothing but relate to permittivity plus 1 by 2 plus epsilon r minus 1 by 2 into 1 plus 12 height to width ratio whole power minus 1 by 2 nothing but this factor 1 by root 2 root plus 0 0.04 into 1 minus width to height whole square so this is the effective dielectric constant when the width to height ratio is less than 1 Suppose when width to height ratio is greater than or equal to 1, greater than or equal to 1, then epsilon effective is equal to epsilon effective or you can also write it as epsilon e, epsilon r plus 1 by 2 plus epsilon r minus 1 by 2 into 1 plus 12 into h by w whole power minus 1 by 2. Okay. See what happens. What is the reason for this one? If it is less than 1, this factor remains. 1 minus omega, 1 minus w by h whole square. If it is greater than 1, this factor will be cancelled. If it is greater than or equal to 1, this factor can be cancelled. Okay, so the effective dielectric constant is a function of we can write this the effective dielectric constant is a function of if you see the derivation, if you see that equation, you can write it as it is a function of <coughs> the ratio of the width to height of the microstrip line 
micro strip line w by h width to height ratio as well as as well as the dielectric constant dielectric constant of the substrate material substrate material okay see epsilon or substrate material is nothing but epsilon or relative epsilon relative permittivity okay so we are writing the equation of effective uh, dielectric constant is as a function of width to height of this uh, micro strip width to height ratio of this micro strip line and as well as the substrate dielectric material which is nothing but epsilon r okay so this is the effective dielectric constant of the microstrip transmission line thank you